everyone welcome back to my channel happy friday if you guys are watching this on a friday this is the time where i sit down and i talk to you guys about the things at the dollar tree i do a review every friday and i really test this stuff out to let you guys know whether it's worth that dollar 25 I get excited and I know you get excited about all those name brands and you know off brands and just all the goodies that comes into the Dollar Tree but sometimes they are not that great. So I test out the products so you don't have to so you can save your money. I'll spend my money, I'll test it and then I come to you guys and let you guys know. So let's go ahead and we'll first talk about the color color. There's quite a bit of them to pick from. These are the new palettes at the Dollar Tree. They're kind of like a hoodoo beauty dupe. I guess this company, a lot of you guys said that they are a company that kind of does dupes. I think they, I think what everyone was saying is they've gone out of business and a lot of you guys purchased these online when they had like their 90% sell and you like stocked up on them. A lot of you guys said that you really loved it. Now when I did swatch it, I was kind of like, not so not so good because when I did swatch it 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 felt light it felt buttery smooth but it kind of came off blotchy and I was like oh what if this is not gonna blend so let's go ahead and I will insert a clip of me trying this palette so we can see for ourselves first impression let's go as you guys can see, I don't have any eyeshadow on. I have like my face makeup done, but none of the eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we are gonna test out the um, Obsessed 5. This is what it looks like. And these are the colors. So when I swatched it, it seemed pretty okay. I mean, I thought it was a little patchy, but sometimes swatches, can be not so good and then when you put it on it, it's a little bit better so okay we're gonna go ahead hopefully you guys can kind of see a little bit I have my mirror right here so um we'll see we'll see let's see does it blend very good now a lot of you guys said that you liked it that the like I was saying the um you got them offline that they went out of business which is kind of sad okay so so far okay I think it's actually blending out really well I just kind of did a little base coat can you guys see that I, I'm doing like light makeup but I hope that's coming up okay so actually hmm Maybe the, the swatch that I did, because I felt like it was a little chalky, a little like, oh, am I going to be able to blend this? But actually, wow, okay. And you know what? The great thing about this also, well, I mean, that it has a mirror, which is kind of nice, but it's actually buildable which is kind of nice I don't see any like patches wow so I guess this company is a company that likes to do I guess they do dupes is what you guys were saying a lot of you guys were talking about it like how they went out of business and you scooped up so many different palettes um honestly this is wow okay I'm kind of shocked that it actually, okay, here's, can you guys see a little bit of a difference, how I build it up a little bit, how I don't think it's blotchy or, you know, blotchy, splotchy, um, patchy or anything like that. I think it's really laying down well on the eyes. Okay. Okay, a lot of you guys said that you love this palette, so I'm thinking that it's going to work, you guys. I honestly, wow, okay, this is definitely worth that $1.25. I would definitely stock up. I have the Huda Beauty palette, and this, 
this is doing great. So when I swatched it, I don't think it did justice. I think it was kind of patchy, but as I'm playing around with it, it's not even... Yeah, okay. This is kind of cool. Yeah, it's blending out really, really, really well, you guys. So here, I'll, uh, let me kind of just do this really fast and I can kind of share with you and then I'll just finish up my eyeshadow and then we'll go on to the mascara. So see, what do you guys think? Obviously I still need to, I'm not finished here, but as you guys can see, it's not, It. I think it really looks beautiful on the skin. It's not patchy. It's very blendable. I think it's buildable as well. It feels good. The formula is like butter soft, so when I did test it out, when I did swatch it, it did feel very, very buttery soft. It feels night light on the eyes. It's not like some palettes and makeup you can kind of feel. It's kind of, you can feel it on the skin where this is kind of very light. It, it, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys let me know. The proof is in the pudding, but I really don't think, no, give it like, I'm not done yet. <laughs> So I still have to blend and do other things, but I mean just first impressions layering it on I think it actually really works. So honestly, this is definitely worth your dollar 25 I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes and then we'll talk about it a little bit and we'll go ahead and we'll test the mascara We'll do one eye and then we can kind of see how it's going. Now, I'm not going to put a lash like um, booster or like um, a lash primer on. That usually helps, but for me to just kind of test the product, we're just going strictly with this. So definitely a lash primer is going to be better because it's going to help help your lashes, but we're just going to do a true test so that I can kind of share with you just the product by itself. So that's what we're going to do. Let me go ahead and we'll finish up my eyes and um, yeah. Okay. I'll be right back and then we'll talk some more. As you guys can see, it is amazing. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I loved it. I yeah, I loved it. I still love it. I can't believe I love it so much. And so many of you, I said, oh my gosh, Lisa, it is amazing. So definitely 100% Pookie approved if you find them. I think it's great. And for $1.25, you guys know makeup is so expensive. That's why I go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls pretty much to get all of my palettes because we go into Ulta. I mean, woo, $38, $50 for a palette. I mean, I like to spend money on things, but man, oh man, that's expensive. So $1.25, heck yeah. So definitely well worth that um, price point and they have lots to pick from. So I, I mean, for $1.25, it is 100% worth it. And a lot of you guys said the same thing with all my reviews though. And this is just my opinion. So I love when you guys give feedback because just because Lisa says this is this and this is how it is, you know, it's just my personal opinion and how I get along with the products. But just because I'm saying it doesn't mean like it's solid. I'm truthful. I'm honest. I'm just going to tell you how I feel and how I get along with it and try things out. And um, so if you guys leave your comments down below and help everybody else out. This is a wonderful, great community. I love you guys all so much. I mean, the sweetest community ever that helps each other out. And I just, I love that. So let's continue that. Let's help everybody out. Okay, let's go ahead and we will talk about the uh, City Color Be Batty Mascara. I went ahead, of course, tried it on camera, and I did a before and kind of after so you guys can see exactly what it does. Let's find out. So this is the Be Batty Mascara. This is by City Color. So let's go ahead. I don't have any... I don't have any mascara on my eyes, or my, I should say, my eyelashes. So let's go ahead, we'll test her out and see like how good this mascara is on its own. And I'm a girl that doesn't have, like I wish I had luscious eyelashes, but 
I just didn't get that. Okay. I can tell you right now that it's better than some that I've tried from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So obviously this eye has a mascara and this eye does not. So what do you guys, can you guys see a difference? What do we think? I think I can see a difference, but you guys let me know what you think. Feels good. Like, I definitely think that that's a, I can tell a difference. I really can. So, yeah, I think I can tell a huge difference. So, so far, you guys, this has been a really good week for Dollar Tree, uh, for Dollar Tree items, 100%. Okay, so what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I think it actually did something. There are some of the, like, um, oh goodness, the normal brands at the Dollar Tree that I've tried, mascara, and I just, meh. and I'm kind of picky with mascara, real, real, real picky. And so for a dollar twenty-five, I felt like it actually did a little bit compared to like one side to the other. You can tell a difference. Where some of these, I'm like, you can't tell a difference at all. So. Proof is in the pudding. Leave your comments that way can help everybody out and uh, let me know what you guys think about this mascara. But I'm telling you so far, it's a win, win, win this week. Okay. We'll also talk about the Spa Life. This is the Nourish and Smooth Honey and Almond. They are gloves. You get one pair of gloves and let's see, 10 to 30 minutes. So it kind of depends on how like dry your hands are and stuff like that. Oof, you guys. Pick you some up. This, I'm telling you, this is a good week. I love when we have good weeks and we're not wasting our money. Okay, first of all, the scent is amazing. It smells like honey. It smells so good. I like these gloves because they're more like gloves instead of like plastic, like, um, you know, food handling type gloves. These are a little bit more bougie in my opinion. I mean, look, you guys, seriously. And if you have big hands, I mean, it's going to fit your, look how huge these are. I have like, look, I have little itty bitty baby hands and they fit me. They're a little bit obviously on the big side, but these are so awesome. I wish I can have you feel, but can you just kind of see that texture? They look like very, sturdy amazing gloves and then they have all the gunk inside oh my gosh it's just amazing they smell <sighs> it does it's like mm. some of these like gloves you know they smell like vinegar and just yucky and then you're just like <sighs> you know I don't know I have like a super sensitive like nose and so I'm very sensitive like smells and so for me those like peeling face or peeling not peeling face peeling feet mask and like the gloves ew it's just oh, it's so bad for me I don't know I am like a I have a super sniffer I just do it's just what I can smell things that people cannot smell. I'm like, oh, you smelled it? And they're like, what? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just that person. Anybody else? So those like vinegar type gloves and feet things is caca. So this is like nice. This makes me feel like, oh, I'm pampering myself. And it's like a nice aroma. I mean, if you are someone who doesn't like scents, you might not like it. But then again, if you can deal with like the vinegar smell, then this I think will be pleasant because it's not like, oh my gosh, you know, in your face type of smell, but you can definitely smell it, but it's nice, subtle. It's, it smells like honey. It's like you're sipping some tea with a friend. Like it's just, it's nice. So I would highly recommend these, you guys. I'm telling you this week, this week was a winner and I am very excited when we have winning weeks because as you guys know, if you watch me, and all my reviews, you know that there are some weeks, there's months where we're just like, nothing good is coming in. Well, we think stuff is good and then we try it and then we're like, oh no. So definitely a 
wonderful week. I highly recommend these things. Let me know on the mascara. I'm very picky on mascara, so hopefully you guys can talk amongst each other and help everybody out. But I mean, the the things that I think you should buy, I mean, obviously these palettes are wonderful. Just find a color that you would use. Just pick something that you're going to use. But for a dollar twenty-five, I mean, if you want to be like, I'm not a color girl, but you know, I mean, hey, these are like beautiful colors. These are bright and cheerful and happy. So you might want to try a color palette. If you've always wanted to try, you know, different colors, this would be a great opportunity for you to try colors on your skin and you're not going to pay that heavy price point. And the gloves, my friends, yes, I'm, I'm loving it. Mascara can take or leave, honestly. But uh, other than that, you guys, it's been a wonderful week. I hope everybody has an amazing day and a week ahead. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.